Narr narr when it comes to narrative commentary, I'm trying to vaguely strike a balance. Because there's so much stuff that I could spoil that I'm not trying to actively talk about because it's somewhat counterproductive. But at the same time, I am inevitably doing commentary from the perspective of somebody who played the previous game because I played all three playthroughs of the previous game last year. So irrevocably, I am at that level. So while one way or another this is a blind playthrough of this game, I have played the previous game, which gives me hints of the parallels. I think the Zelda comparison continues to stand, basically. It's the difference between somebody knowing who Sheik and Zelda and all these different characters are, and someone who doesn't, even if they're playing a new Zelda game. Fucking hunger meter. Why do you want tweezers so badly? So I'm trying not to just outright say things that happen on later days. But at the same time, I'm like hinting and guessing at certain details along the way. Because I have some of the I have some context for the things that people are saying to me. But also I could be wrong. That's fun. It's 3.30. Uh, I'll commit to making a, a trip to the stash real quick, because I'm right here. But I need to start making story progress more. These herbs are everywhere, goddamn. Looks like this is one we found before. And it's saying that I could put blood into it again. But I don't have it right now. Found the last walnut hidden in the tadpole yard. Meet you there. Take some of those. Put in some springs. I don't know. Wasn't there like a woman coughing a moment ago? That was a little weird. I don't know where they were. Kids are doing something here. I swear to God. Later. I gotta save Notkin's... The cat? They're teasing me with these invisible cats. Uh... Clothing store? I'm curious. So if I have the chance, I'll buy rare items just because they're probably used for upgrades. Thimble, cloak, gloves, thread. Thread isn't even that expensive, all things considered. That's good. That's not bad resale value. That's like two-thirds-ish or something. I just kind of expect them to be worse about it. Nah, they don't really have anything I want. Already did that one. Yes. Alright, on task. Let's go. Hi, <laughs> uh, don't stare at me. I'm just running through the bushes like a lunatic. Immediate detour. Where is it? 
There you are. Man, this guy's got an ear for, uh, for flies. Which, which department are you from, pal? Cutting? In a way. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. That fat pig refuses to come out. Refuses even an explanation, bloodsucker. What happened? The factory shut down two days ago, didn't you know? I mean, yeah. There is this soot problem. But when will it run again? How many of us will find themselves in the streets? Will anyone pay for pay us for the downtime? Or will the payment be reduced? I can tell you right now it's the latter. And that won't feed my children. Yeah. We want at least to be told what's going on. Why is the train not coming? Why did he cork up the termitary? I'll tell you why. They want it all shut down. They're just looking for an excuse to close the factory. There was no accident. And the toxic soot is a lie. A cover. A crock of shit. There have been indeed many suspicious coincidences. Are you gonna see the man yourself? Tell him we ain't leaving without an answer. More people will come. We'll stay here for as long as we have to. Let the hateful pig tell us the truth. All right, I'll tell him. You seem to have a picket line, boss lad. And I'm... I guess I'm not breaking the picket line because one, I don't work at that company, and two, they just sent me in with a message anyway. Anyway, back to robbing boss lad. Aw, oh, damn it. He's my favorite person to rob. Because he sucks. Well, sober robs are worse. Heads? Or tails. <laughs> tails. Always tails. Good thing you've come to visit, Master Burak. Right on time. Early bird gets the worm indeed. The Canes plan to take away your house. Isidore's dead, God rests his soul, and his heir is on the run. The decision will be made today. Why are the Canes even involved? As you should know, the town is ruled by three families. I hold the economy, the abattoir, the factory, the station, the warehouses, collectively known as the Bull Enterprise. A silly name, but it's stuck. Sabarov upholds the peace, he handles the populace. And the Canes? The Canes build houses. Other structures, general planning, all of them. I don't get it, please explain. I'm doing this for the, your benefit, basically, just in case. You don't know our history? That's a shame. The Canes built our town on their fancy ideas, composed an entire philosophy of town planning. <laughs> Experimenting on human souls, no less. Forbidden human transmutation? They see the town as a machine, a tool, a special place like a crucible for remaking the mind and spirit of man. What do they want to forge people into? They want to forge an overman, one to rival God, not even to forge one, but to let him grow up on his own. Idealistic airheads. That's who they are. Me? I pull the chain the other direction. Humans are beasts. The simpler, the more useful. <laughs> At least my little theory proves itself right with plentiful coin. Why do they want my father's house? The Canes see all houses, including yours, as cogs in a machine. They might decide to demolish it, or do something else entirely. The late Simon Kane was close to your father. One could say they were friends. Opposites truly do attract. 
Yes, they do. So what do I do? Go see the judge, that is. George Georgi Kane. With his brother Simon dead, he's in charge. Go to him and assert your claim. Hurry. Georgi wakes at dawn and never takes back his decisions. That's just how he is. Uh, I just was there, of course. They seem to be saying that tomorrow morning is my time limit now, though, so... At least we got that. Thank you, boss. Dawn of what day, though? Udur means the body that contains the world, or refers to something that, that consists of many living parts. Uh. He wakes at dawn. Well, if it means today, then it's already too late anyway, because it's 4 p.m. So, I'm going to continue on with other stuff. And hope that it means dawn tomorrow. God, I'm just watching hunger tick, that, tick up in real time, and it's... Abs oh, yeah, right. I didn't talk to them, him about them. I gotta remember to talk to people multiple times when it's an option. Although, maybe it wasn't. Straight up not an option. Okay. What's up, bros? I need to find me some drunks to trade with. I've got bottles. And limited inventory spaces. Man, you used to have so much inventory last game. And I still managed to cap that out, but like now I'm definitely missing it. Is this a park that's full of stuff? Not so much. Kind of a junkyard. A ruin. The notes are an interesting touch. She left the nutshell. The house is ours again. Crafting in the evening as usual. I'm curious which ones will be notes that come up later. Little tea tails, revolver, broken scissors. I don't want to give them my lockpicks necessarily. Pick a walnut. I'll take the fingernails. Here's some water. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I don't know if it's based on the ch the children economy. It might be. Yep. So the notes are giving me new po new spots. So I gotta hurry down to grief, then down to my base. I would like to have a more definite understanding of what evening means. I think most people I know have long since foregone the ambiguities of of words like that. Sunrise and sunset are understandable terms. Noon has a particular meaning, and usually people just say times. Because Time ranges are rough. Howdy, grief. At least I'm saving periodically. Var, the you 
adventurer wages war on all poor. Just nailed barley down. Here we go, all around. A guest is best when you see them less. What's wrong with everyone today? You try and drive me nuts? I've got enough on my plate. Will you tell me? No. Long tongues lend to short lives. If you have a point, get to it. If not, don't let the door hit you on the way out. We're getting together this night. The four of us. The old place. Huh? Why all of a sudden? We can mend our old friendship, I'm sure we can. The old place, as in by the gumstone, at the railroad. Yes, the Apple Road, remember? Go ahead. The three of you will have more fun without me. Me and Stock are at each other's throats too. He can barely stand me, blames me for father's death. Wow. What tree did he fall from to get to hurt his head so? Must have been that new tower. Well, he's right, in a way. I can't stop thinking about it. I don't know, Cub. I've got a full plate here. Those men, the night hunters, they're too fond of playing with knives. Way too fond. Where'd they all even come from? It's not just your plate, it's everyone's now. Not my fault, but somehow it is. Never took blood, but I dressed for a red harvest. How it bloomed? Forget it. I'll deal with it myself. Just come to our old place. Did you hear me? Please come. No one will blame you. Will he come, though? No one knows. A knife! Aren't those fun? Huh. I can't cross-compare everything, like I don't know if he's selling stuff for high prices or not, but Grief was generally known for, have, have, for having the worst prices in the first game, and maybe he doesn't this time. Because revolver ammo for 100 is pretty standard. So he'll buy them for pretty standard prices, it seems. Maybe these are actually reasonable sell prices, too. I don't know, I saw an item before where the sell price was like 60% of the buy price, and this is like... Two and a, this buy price is two and a half times way up there. I don't know. I don't know. That's my secret. I'm always hungry. Oh boy. I'm going to have to get brewing. Did I visit Nakin's place first? I should probably just make whatever I can. I'm pretty sure we're, this is going to be the execution of the earlier tutorial. Hi, buddy. Just hanging out. Please don't get, like, randomly slaughtered by passerbys or something that are hungry. I don't really like how he's just out front. There's not even a gate or anything. Was he- was he tied to the post? That'd be depressing. That wouldn't be a lot of movement. It also wouldn't be very effective. Cows are strong, aren't they? Like... A rope I don't think would contain it very well. Tinker. Ah. So we need the gear thing, but mostly we need the big old trunk, which seems harder to get.
get... Do it. Yes. A thimble, a different cloth, and there. Uh, that's gonna be the hard one, right? Is a big old trunk, I imagine. Did it get bigger? Oh yeah, I got these two side pockets now. They're a little awkward shaped, but I can work with that. You know what, I think I'll get by with... I think I would benefit from not using my gun at the moment. Bring it out when I hit a part of the story where it feels more necessary. You don't look so happy. You must have come from the hospital. Pop some more morphine in there. Uh... not crazy about doing like emergency item management because I think that uh, I don't think that the I feel like the time doesn't freeze when I'm in this menu which makes me way more nervous about my time usage that's a lot of chisels Damn. Didn't I need chisels here? Chisel, whetstone, yeah. Oh, that's for repairs. So I can repair you, the whetstone and chisel. Goes up to the next tier. And then a whetstone will take care of the next tier. Neat. Uh, interesting. I think when it's barely damaged, you need a whetstone to sharpen it, and then you're good. But if you damage it more, you need a variety of resources. I think the razor is there because when you reach that level, you straight up need to replace the blade. Broken scissors are like a kind of garbage item. Let's take them out to hopefully trade. my god, look how roomy it looks here. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's save, and then I'm going to review the tutorial on crafting. Alright. Yeah, there was like a rock, paper, scissors screen, basically. Not as complicated as I remembered, mainly because like... One joke away from being a goner. Yeah. No, I'm getting hunger damage already. One of the main things that comes to mind is- oh, shit. God. Damn it. <laughs> There's a gun slot right there. Alright. I can repair it. I can reload it right now. Oh, he goes- oh, he goes slow. <laughs> You're not doing that during combat. Oh, boy. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Hey, go put your hands away. Uh, wait, the bullets didn't go in. That's confusing. Whatever, I'll keep the bullets around. Uh, uh, Alright, well, that would have been good to know, know sooner. What was I talking about? I'm meeting at midnight. Yeah, Nevada Grave. grief. Uh, I was talking about that there was like a rock, paper, scissors thing. It wasn't that complicated. Uh, there was the nerves, the bone, and the blood. The nerves, the bone, and the blood. Nerves are yellow, bone are white, blood is red. Certain herbs mixed together to make the different tinctures you can test which thing is ailing somebody by trying different tinctures on them, but if their pain is too high, you have to use morphine in order to fight said pain, so I'm gonna have to take the morphine with me. 
And I think this might be indicative of which stuff makes which plants. Where's the morphine? Click. Ah. I'm, I'm using shift click because of Minecraft. Messing with me a little bit. Hmm. It feels like someone's pulling my strings. I want to keep that around. Okay. Let's see if I can identify these. So... This Ash and Swish is that one, I think. Yeah. The one covered in flowers, I believe, is this guy. So very. And this one, Brown Twire. It might be White Whip instead of Twire. Yeah, that's White Whip. Oh no. <laughs> if those are the items I need, I do not have a lot of them. Uh, we'll do some testing. I just saved, it's fine. We'll test this stuff out. I have plenty of water. It's all over the place and what it thinks I might want to use. Let's just try brewing stuff. I have like water on hand. This is a higher this is an item that uh Yas tincture. You don't look so happy. You must have come from the hospital. These are items that I have a lot of, so let's just go with those. Is this something I'm out of? No, that's the blank slot. Particularly potent. Hmm. the right herbal mixtures. That's what old man used to say. Herbal mixtures. Mandrill. That one's particularly potent. Zerk. Yes. Uh. Is it based on the color of the plant? Like, these are both orange. Give me a yellow thing. Red bone. I need more orange if I want to have, like, consistency here. Yeah. <sighs> I gave it a go. <laughs> I gave it a go. Alright, so the bubbly stuff is, is, is a particularly potent variation. I've got some of everything. I've got morphine. Yeah. Maybe I'll check this video later and try to make physical notes. I don't want to do that kind of stuff right now because it freaking time's ticking and all that, but at some point I'm gonna try to have to try to make physical notes of all this stuff. Uh, where's the exit? Is it through here? No? Here we go. Because I need to keep track of which stuff makes what, and it's a little hard to remember. And now I'm dying of hunger. God damn it. Alright. I have absolutely no food, so we're in a good spot. The shady shop. Even outcasts can buy food. Yeah, I might need to buy food, but I have no money. Yay! Things are going great. All right, Notkin, I'm gonna deal with you, and then I'm gonna run, go sprinting into town to try to deal with any of my problems, basically. Cause I need to stop starving to death from my hunger problems. What are you doing here, Aspidy? Better not to ask. Silence is golden. He will die, M. Shen. You will take his fate into your hands, and he will die. Stain not your hands with the death of a person who trusts you. How do you know he will die? You are not a healer yet. You will fail. You're a big man, but not so big as to take on a responsibility for others. But someone must try it. 
This is where you are right. We can't simply let it happen without a fight. So let me fight. Then let this be a learning experience for me. Move aside, Kate. I won't hide behind your back. You believe you're taking your father's vessel? Was enough to become him? You jest, M. Shin. You cannot heal. You know not the lines. Don't take on too much or you'll snap like a rotten bow. Bow. Well, we'll, we'll see now if I can heal or not. Not kin. I'm hoping he has pills because I, I think we specifically covered in the tutorial that I can't make pills yet, right? That's for, that's something that's gonna come up later. Is that the, is that Clara? No. Actually, yeah, I think. What do you want? You know what I you you asked me here, sir. That big city doctor was just here too. Told me to pass a message on. Don't waste your time on patches. It's over for him. Instead, pull yourself together and come see me. I've got something important for you. That's it. Guess I'll have to go talk to the bachelor about the Hippocratic Oath, if nothing else. We scrounged up all these pills from all over town. There we go. But the big city doctor said Patches will die if we give him any. His body can't take the strain. But you? You're gonna try anyway, aren't you? What makes you think I can do better than the dandy? You're a doctor too, aren't you? You can heal him. Maybe you can cut away the illness, take out his appendage or something. Diagnosis is always the first thing, knucklehead. Always. You can't play medicine by ear. Old Burrock had something, had something for this. He used herbs to find out what's wrong with his patients. Used to say Twy reveals everything hidden in a body. Can you do that? I can do many things. Come on, take the pills. Here, a handful for everything. Just make sure you figure out which one to give him, all right? The correct one will probably do the trick. Not every condition can be cured with a pill. What was that? Diagnosis is the father of treatment. To learn which antibiotic might help patches, I first need to figure out which of the of his three layers is sick. Yep. Where is it? Give medicine. Okay. I've got a few of these now, like and better ones. I'll probably save those for later, right? We're probably good for now. I have a lot of these. Let's start with this one. His pain is low. It's not blocking the information. So, diagnose. That pain went right up. Here you go, buddy. Huh. That didn't really narrow things down the way I hoped it would. So let's see if this does. Okay, so it's not bone. Breath becomes... what does it say? A fever rises, it could be anything of the three. Oh cool, so that was, u that was useless the first time. It didn't help at all. Breath becomes ragged. It's either nerves or blood. I already, I already tried nerves. You're you're gonna eat into my freaking painkillers like crazy, aren't you? Oh. Let's try a mendril. Okay, we have an answer. Definitive. All right. Lowers infection, fixes the nerve layer of the human body. Doesn't completely heal the patient, but lowers the chance of death. Do 
treatment successful. You did all you could, only a miracle can help now. His infection's down to half, I guess. Give me food. Maybe Khan and I should bury the hatchet. <laughs> I saved your boy. F pay me with bread, you bastard. <laughs> Is he gonna make it? Too early to say. Time will tell. And that bachelor said it was no use. I knew he was lying, the big city grifter. Impossible this, gone or that. Nonsense. Why don't you do abandon us to, to go see him about some urgent business instead? So he wanted me to abandon a patient in favor of chatting with him. Charming. Well, he told us it was hopeless. We were worried you'd believe him and leave Patches to die. What did you give him, by the way? One of your old man's tinctures? You're a shifty one, aren't you? You should have more faith in me. Well, he, uh... He told us things looked grim, and that you should drop everything to go talk to him. Because, he said, it's a desperate situation and our lot has to be quarantined. He said you shouldn't even come here, so you don't catch it yourself. Your gang should stay put for now. Keep off the streets, alright? Quarantine. The Bachelor recommends quarantine. My treatment helped Patches. Bachelor Dunkovsky has deemed me worthy of, spe of speaking with him and wants to see me at once. Must be something serious. I came into my legacy. I traced Father's path and learned the voices of herbs. I entered his secret house and learned his craft. I will take care of his patience. I've proven by deeds that I know the lines. I am Imenku. There we go. Also, importantly, we, we healed somebody that's in the same house as... Murky and Notkin. So, if that person it was sick with the plague, they would, he could have probably been a threat to both of them. 